Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have in it is Series 4, a game developed by Crow Team, the same developers behind the entire Series M series and also a great puzzle game which I believe that got a little bit under the radar for most of the people but you should try it. It is the Talos Principle, I fully recommend to you. If you did enjoy Portal, you're gonna love this one, especially if you enjoy philosophy. But we are here today to check it out uh, Series 4 that uses their brand new engine, which is Series Engine 2017. And I will be using 720p using the lowest settings. The only thing customizable in here is that uh, this game also have a, a resolution scaling going on. And I just put it to unlimited to be at 100%. At the lowest settings, the game have this some sort of bad quality ambient occlusion, which I'm not really a fan of. So I was having 83 frames per second in here, and my suggestion it is to disable it because it looks so bad that it doesn't make sense to be enabled con consuming frames per second. So by disabling it, you get 94 frames per second. So it seems a nice boost in my opinion. So let's take a look on the requirements. So this game asks for a four core CPU. So check, eight gigs of RAM, check. We have 32 gigs in here, but eight gigs of, of RAM it is enough for this game. And also they do require an NVIDIA GTX 780, 970 or 1050. So we are below the minimum requirements in here. They also specify a minimum of three gigabytes of VRAM for AMD graphics card. We are below the minimums, all right? And at the lowest settings, using the benchmark tool on Viva La Resistance, or La Resistance, or whatever its name, by by using five minutes of that in bench in-house benchmark, or in-game benchmark, I got an average of uh, 54 frames per second with a 1% low of 30. This was with the lowest presets without disabling ambient occlusion, which is something that I've done in here. And by doing this, uh, the average, despite it was close to 60 frames per second, the 1% low, the minimum that I got, it was 30 frames per second. So when there is a lot of enemies on screen and particles and stuff going on, you can expect your frame rate to drop something to close 30 frames per second. And while when the things are a little bit more calm and without too much enemies on screen, you can expect the frame rate around 40 to 50 frames per second or even 60, all right? And when the things are really, really calm, you get this frame rate mostly above 60 frames per second. So performance-wise, lowest settings, it is good. If you decide to play with the low settings, unfortunately, you can expect frame rates to go under 30 frames per second in many occasions. The, dif the biggest noticeable difference between the lowest and the low, it is that the low settings does include dynamic shadows, so you don't get these mip map shadows, uh, old school mip map shadows. You get kind of uh, realistic shadows. But honestly, the performance penalty, it is huge for this graphic card. And so my recommendation it is for you to keep up with the lowest settings, which doesn't look entirely that bad. It's just I miss the lightning. It's something that it is really bad. The textures, even on the lowest settings, it looks fine. All right, so there is a ton of detail, micro detail into the textures. So I don't think that you are losing too much stuff regarding textures. I think we are just losing the shadows. Uh, which makes a great impact in visual quality. All right, so that's what you can expect performance wise But I mean what about the game this game scored around 68% of Metacritic It isn't being very well received the question it is exactly why so let's talk a little bit about the game uh, Series some four It doesn't look to be the series some game that we want so after Series some 3, people weren't really pissed about uh, the direction of the game, but uh, people were mostly pissed about the art style, because Series some 1 and the second encounter, it was mostly on Egypt. Series some 2, it was a little bit more cartoonish, despite the core. And Series some 3, it was... Well, the art style did change a lot, alright? And it left, it, it left a lot of people unsatisfied. But still, it was there was there a balance between the Series Sum first encounter and second encounter and the environments of Series Sum three. Well, Series Sum four, pretty much, and most of the environments of this game that I've checked so far, uh, even despite I'm not playing these three levels, there is a benchmark tool that allows you to select multiple levels. 
What I've seen so far is that most of the environments are just... Well, this type of city environment or most closed or small environment. So it, it feels like an arena shooter where you are trapped between buildings. All right, This is something very different than uh, w what was done with City Sum First Encounter and Second Encounter. Yes, when we, when we were inside the pyramids, it was a boxed environment. But on many levels, we have kind of uh, open environment and multiple enemies, which in this game, it is not really mostly the case. So it's not really happening that often because you will feel that most of the game will be inside these boxed environments. So, and also there is tons of cutscenes over here and a lot of uh, try hard jokes. I'm saying this because the jokes in this game. I, I don't know, it might be funny to some people, uh, I find them funny, but it is not really good jokes, alright, the, the jokes on this game, it isn't really that great, and technology wise, again, this feels like Series Sum 3, alright, despite this engine behind this it is Series Sum engine 2017, uh, visually, in my opinion, the game looks like uh, Series Sum 3, but with much more detail into the levels as expected but the technology pretty much looks the same not to mention that uh, it is kind of easy to see that these guys recycled a lot but really a lot of assets from the Tavos principle usually for most games uh, we don't really care about that but uh, it is so evident when you start the game there is some sort of a uh, a small garden and you can clearly see that the environment it is pretty much the same as most of the puzzles of the towels principle so it is shocking it is like you are you just installed the towels principle and you install the kind of a dlc from series sum that allows you to shoot um enemies on the gardens of the towels principle so that is that i'm for the most part this is this, this doesn't really concern me you know uh, recycling assets it is something normal uh, we can see that uh, a lot of developers recycle for example animations that is pretty normal that is not exactly what does shock me but what it does shock me is that this game it is being released in 2020 uh, while series m3 was released nine years ago and the technology looks the same uh, which well it is not really a great way to describe it and also we are seeing recycling assets from the Tavos principle and if you go to ch and if you go and check it out the Tavos principle release date which is exactly what I'm doing in here while I speak to you because when I speak about games I, I just let it go so the Tavos principle was released in December 2014 so it's pretty much a you know a 6 year old game and they are recycling assets from it so it feels like Crow Team just stopped in time, and that's really what gets me worried about. Serious Sum elements are here, all right. So if you did, if you are a fan of Serious Sum, and if you did enjoy Serious Sum Three, you will enjoy Serious Sum Four. Possibly you won't be as much satisfied as it was with Serious Sum Three, all right. But Serious Sum Four, for me, it is the worst Serious Sum until today, but it's not possibly as worse as critics have been saying on YouTube. Alright, it is not that bad. I haven't found really any issue with the game so far. It behaves like a regular series sum. So people are complaining about optimization. Yes, the game it is very demanding. So just select the graphics according to the frame rate that you want. The game will look visually nice. Pretty much whatever the setting you go with. Aside from water like I told you. But... Like I, like I did show you, I'm using the low textures and honestly the low textures looks pretty great anyway. So just select the settings accordingly. And I guess that's that. I just think that the game it is costing 40 bucks. I think it's a nice price indeed. It is not a full AAA price. But possibly giving the, you know, the reviews that have been out uh, talking about this game and a lot of people unsatisfied with the art design and the route they are taking the game possibly 40 bucks it is a little bit too much possibly 30 bucks would be the recommended price for this game or just buy it on sale i'm not saying that this game doesn't worth 40 bucks but honestly 
Probably not, alright? It is something that you finish in 10 hours and you can play cooperative if you want, which is a, a good thing. But unless you really enjoy a lot of series, um, this game might not be for you. And comparing to the other titles, this is the worst, in my opinion, that I have tried alongside with Series um, 2. And I'm not talking about the second encounter, I'm talking about Series um, 2. Alright, so guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Series um, 4. This is just my own opinion and I'm no reviewer. So, take this as my own opinion only. Um, and that's it, guys. So, thank you much for watching and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. I hope you were successful, my Today, son. You win some, you lose some. Can't tell which one this was. I sense evil presence. Is your priest's sense tingling? No, I just see pale corpses and floating objects. Sir, it's an organ hemovore. It's a fucking vampire, Kenny! Suckers! Let's go up here, son. Sounds like we're about to have company. Almost made stairway to heaven joke. You are forgiven, father. Oh, wow. What a lovely view. Planet Earth, baby. There's no place like it. Frighten me! 
And now for a short editorial. Who is Lord Ackerman?